Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm just gonna dive right into it. We're gonna be looking at how you can preview MIDI files and how you can work with MIDI files because as a Logic user, your workflow method is pretty bad, right? You just basically just drag a bunch of them into your session and hope you find one that you want. There is no way to natively preview a MIDI file, which is a digital file for creating digital music in your digital audio workstation. It blows my mind that I just said that, but here we are. In an update, Logic, it'd be nice if you could just open the browser, go to your MIDI files and preview it that way like you can in Ableton, like, like so. But until then, this is the absolute best workaround I found. So I tried every conceivable MIDI file playing program or app I could find and only one worked and as luck would have it, it was the last one I tried. So go to your app store and then you're going to search for MIDI player. We'll hit enter here. And you can see this one called NS MIDI player. It is free, download it. Now, when you first open it, you might think, oh, this isn't very good because this is what most of them do. They allow you to play MIDI files, but you have to drag them in or locate them. And they, they are playing the, basically like an aliased version of the file. So let's say you drag them in from here and you, you play it. You can't drag it into the DAW. That's how most of them work. And that's also annoying because then you have to go find it on Finder. It's like, well, that's not helpful. But the cool thing about this program is with it closed, like I will actually quit it, which it's it's not open. I'm back in Logic. If I go to a MIDI file, this is from a pack Vibes, and I click on one, you'll see that there's the now there's a play button on it. Right, play button on this one. So I can literally just preview the MIDI file straight from Finder, which is actually what you used to be able to do before I think like Mavericks came out. And I think that is the absolute best way to do this. Now, sometimes you'll click on a MIDI file and it won't update, right? And you just have to click on it again and it will, and you're good to go. But this is an absolute win. It is free. You guys can find the MIDI files that you want before you actually drag them in and go, and then drag them in and go. And this is probably how it should be for Apple users. I don't know why this isn't something built natively into a Mac or to Logic, obviously. But hey, so if you're like me and you've struggled with this, there you go, check it out. It is, again, I'll go back to the MIDI player. It is the NS MIDI player, completely free.